Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to show you yet another monitor from OC. I already reviewed their larger field monitor and what I got in the studio here today is their new monitor which is the 15.4 inch size. Uh, it's got 800 nits of brightness, so not as bright as the other one, but still plenty of brightness for a lot of situations. And this monitor is kind of designed to be your sort of in-studio or field monitor uh, that, that you can use on location. And what I love about it is that it uses very little power. It's only 23 watts, uh, so you can run it off of uh, Anton Bauer or Vmont batteries. When you order it, you got to make sure you specify which battery mount you want. Um, or you could, you know, have it plugged in like I have right now. Uh, and when you're traveling with it, what's cool is that the monitor already comes in the case. Like basically, this is the case. So as you can see, this is the bag. You lock it up here. Now, when you're on location and if it's really sunny, then the case also uh, easily converts into a nice shade. Uh, and it's, as you can see, it's kind of longer. So it really allows you to kind of, you can even put your face in there, so whatever it is that, that to be able to block the light or any bright light source from behind. And uh, this way you stop it from re reflecting in the screen. Uh, so you can see very clearly. And as you can see, this whole case that you can actually carry the monitor in uh, can, uh, can also be mounted directly on a light stand. It actually has an uh, opening there for a light stand. You put it in there and then here in the back, you can see you attach it here to the light stand. You have different accessories also because you can mount it on an actual stand and it comes with two different stands. Uh, or even if you wanted to, you could actually just put this and it has sort of a, like a simple leg and this then acts as a, as a stand so you can put it, let's say, on the floor um, and you can have it sort of adjust the angle this way. Uh, so here in the back, just show you quickly, you have your uh, V-mount battery, or you can get the Anton Bauer, uh, you know, battery mount. You have your SDI in and SDI out. Uh, you also have uh, SDI 2 in, you have HDMI in, you have audio in, you have remote connections. Um, here's your power connection. And here in the corner, you also have different size threads, so you can actually attach accessories such as uh, wireless video system, for example. Uh, and like I said, everything packs up nicely and it's sort of like, you know, as one sort of small package when you're traveling with it. Uh, pretty nice small case and it's all protected, which is what I really love about this. Now, when it comes to all the features that are built in the monitor, you've got all of the basically uh, monitoring features that you're going to need. Uh, things like vector scope, histograms, uh, RGB parades, wave parades. Um, you know, focus speaking, all of that stuff you get up here. And of course, you can assign all these things to the different uh, quick buttons. So, you know, you can have, for example, here the waveform, and you can see you can have a Luma, and you can adjust the size, location of it, all that stuff through the menu, which I'm not going to kind of bore you, but you see, you can cycle through the RGB parade, wave, all that stuff. You have your vector scope, so you can see whether your colors are okay. Um, you also have your audio meters and for example your histogram you can have up here and again you can change the size of it and all that stuff you have your zebras all, all of that stuff another cool actually function is that the monitor comes already with uh, 30 loaded lats for like all of the basically the most common cameras and the different profiles but you can also load an uh, extra 16 lats uh, by using the usb here plug on the front uh, and that allows you to also uh, upgrade the firmware if there's any new features added, you use that, that USB there. And actually right now, because I'm shooting on a Sony and an SLAC3, uh, I'm using one of their LUTs so that I can properly monitor this, uh, this shot. Uh, so like I said, you've got all the pro features and you've got a lot of stuff in there that you can also adjust. You, there is also anamorphic mode in here, which right now I'm not shooting in anamorphic, so I'm not really gonna show you how that works, but in the anamorphic mode, you have different uh, settings you can uh, switch to, which are uh, you know 1.3x or 1.33x, uh, 1.5x, 1.66x, and 1.8, and then also 2x, and then 2x mag. Uh, so you have all of those different options, pretty much for every kind of anamorphic uh, mode that you might be shooting over there. Uh, it's a 1080p monitor. Like I said, 800 nits uh, of brightness. So it's still bright enough, definitely for using it like up here with all these lights that I have, I can see it clearly. But if you're outside and let's say if it's a really, really sunny day, 
then you always have the built-in uh, you know, sun hood. And also, if you're wondering about the power uh, that you can also plug it into, like I said, you can use the, the battery mount or you can plug it into an outlet and it works both in 120 or 240 volts, both in 50 and 60 hertz. So you can use it anywhere in the world, basically. You just gotta make sure you have a little uh, adapter or the right power cable. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like kind of a quick overview of this new monitor from OC. Uh, hopefully this answers your uh, questions that you might have, but if not, uh, definitely leave me a comment uh, down below so I can answer any other questions you guys might have. Now, so far when I've been using this monitor, it's been very good, no issues with it. Like I said, very straightforward. It just works Has a nice screen protector actually kind of built into it uh, on, on the front. And like I said, it's uh, it's very, very easy to travel with it because it's not heavy and not big and everything is self-contained. You, you even still have space in the back here. So you can put, uh, like for example, the power cable, but you can also put other things in there. There's still a bit of space, like let, let's say in your HDMI or SDI cable. So you can put all of that in there uh, or even your headphones, uh, which by the way, you do have a headphone jack here on the front. So hopefully this overview gives you a good idea of what you can expect with this monitor. Now, again, any other questions, uh, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, and if you want to find out where you can get this monitor, different you know, latest prices and deals that you can find on it, then as always, just uh, follow the links in the description of this video. Uh, once again, my name is Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.